Well, we, we, you hope so. That's, you know, hopefully the plan. Uh, you know, us going to the NCAA tournament probably happened a little quicker than I anticipated. Um, not that I didn't think we could do it last year, but from what we took over to be in year three, um, it's a, it, it's, it, it was a, a great reward. Um, with that said, you know, what it did for us, it generated a lot of excitement around our basketball program. How much does the NCAA tournament help this team right here? I don't know. We have seven new players, uh, and only three of these guys played in that game. Um, so, you know, uh, we need to focus on what we need to do for this team to be great. Now, the excitement can help this team, can help motivate this team, wanting to, you know, obviously make it back. But the biggest thing it did for us right now is just, you know, generate excitement within the city, within the university, within the students, uh, when you accomplish something like that. But for us, we don't spend a whole lot of time talking about those things right now. That's way in the past uh, for this team. We need to focus on what this team needs to do to get better. No question. Uh, obviously, we have high expectations for Hassan and Jordan. We uh, expect them to do a lot, and it, it starts with leadership. It starts with leading our team with how hard they play. It's not necessarily about how many shots they take or points uh, that they score. Uh, I, I'm looking at more of the effort stats as far as rebounding, deflection, steals, block shots, charges, uh, and then how was their leadership during good and bad times uh, within a game? Because you're going to have, you're going to experience every. There's, you know, most every game's an emotional roller coaster to begin with. Um, those are things I judge those guys with right now. If they just focus on those things, good things will happen. Um, and that's the mentality we've taken. Everybody else needs to kind of follow their lead as far as how hard they play, as far as uh, the passion that they play with. Um, but yeah, you know, going back and watching film, I thought we played hard. We, talk, we took a lot of early tough shots, I thought, that we got better at in the second half. Uh, you know, we had a, it was a, a, a typical game, our, our exhibition game, a typical game of how, what a difference maker the three point shot can be. They were making a bunch of threes, we were missing all of ours, and that's what allowed them to stay in the game. Going back and looking at it, I think they made 12 threes. I thought nine of them they actually earned. They actually made shots over us a little bit. So, uh, I, I thought we got a lot out of both of our exhibition and scrimmage uh, against Loyola that hopefully will make us better before tomorrow night because there's a lot of room for improvement out of both those games. Realistically, what are the expectations for your college? You know, I, I, I really haven't. I'm, I'm usually fairly hard on freshmen as far as no set expectations. Uh, try not to talk about them too much too early try not to give them too much too early they you know sometimes that's not the case sometimes uh, in a situation like Hassan and Jordan they have a choice but to come in and start they were in a situation they you know I couldn't wait uh, I had to um, but a guy like Yuri Collins has earned the right for me to talk to him every, about him every day how because of his toughness his competitiveness how hard he plays every single second and he's extremely unselfish as all of our guys have been um, but I, I really don't have a lot of expectations other than for him to run our team on both ends. As I told him, when you're the point guard, everybody's looking at you running the offense. Everywhere, ever how you start our offense is how we're going to run it. Same thing on defense. People don't realize the, the point guard's usually starting your defense and everybody's looking at you. And if you're really getting into the ball and you're giving us pressure, then that's going to require everybody else behind you to, to follow your lead. So far, he's been very good at it. Uh, he's a freshman. He makes freshman mistakes. You know, we'd like for him to cut down a few of the turnovers, things like that. Uh, but uh, I don't put a lot of expectation other than how hard these guys need to play. Do you sense that playing for the city of St. Louis and the university, St. Louis University, means something to him? I think it does. Uh, I don't think there's any question that uh, he takes a lot of pride in being from St. Louis, and he wants to play well in front of family, friends, and everybody. And representing the, uh, you know, St. Louis University. I don't think there's any question he, he takes great pride in it. And is, can you just describe strictly his, his passing? We were asking Goodwin about him, uh, his passing. What, what, what excites you about it? 
Well, uh, passing come is, is natural for Yuri. It's not something we have to teach him or beg him to do. Um, you know, he's, I've said a lot, he's a kind of old school a little bit and that he, you know, he's thinking of pass first. There's not many of those players left anymore. Uh, he's really uh, sees things happen one or two seconds, three seconds ahead of time, one or two dribbles ahead of time. Uh, he has a great feel for the game and these, you know, uh, and those are things that a lot of people don't have. Uh, he does things that are God-given abilities, uh, and he's not afraid to use those. You know, so many guys nowadays feel like they have to score in order to make an impact, or you, so many players think they have to score in order to get recognized. Uh, he's going to get recognized highly because how he affects the game in a lot of different ways on both ends of the court. Starting lineup before the exhibition. Are you willing to do so before your season opener? Nope. <laughs> I was generous first game. I was feeling generous. How have your conversations been with your upper class and your adjusting to having so many on the court? Well, you know, the conversations with all these returners started way before the summer started, before all these newcomers came in. The message for them was they have to see a culture of why we were able to make an NCAA tournament, how we go about everyday business from classroom to practice to weightlifting. They have to be able to step in and say, wow, now we see how they made it because of how hard we work, uh, because of you know the accountability every single day. Uh, and that can't waver. And when you have seven new guys, we only have five returners. Uh, you know, it's uh, seven new guys need to see this is how things are done and we can't waver from that. Oh man, I got enough to worry about besides that. Uh, I have no idea. Whatever you say, I won't take it. Whatever you say. I don't know, that's pretty good. No, I don't know. I have no idea. One day at a time. Everybody wanted let's slow down here. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. How important is it, is it though, maybe at the start, kind of like what you indicated for, for last game, to maybe give Hassan a little bit of a break at the five, whether it be at the start or some, at some point early on to try to preserve him for later? It's important. Uh, you know, we've got to find him at different positions uh, for, for fouling purposes or non-fouling, whatever you want to call it, but also mismatch purposes. There's not many fours that can guard Hassan French. Uh, so we, we're looking at it in multiple different directions as far as why we could play him at the four with Jimmy Bell. Um, so yeah, that's something we're looking at and we'll continue to do. The, you're going to see a lot of different rotations. Uh, we've, I just came out of a staff meeting and uh, we have defensive teams, we have offensive teams, we have late game teams we look at. We have teams that if they're going to play zone, we have team, you know, there's a lot of different looks that we can give right now. And, we're all still figuring it out, um, but uh, you know he, uh, Hassan will play some four. Yes, definitely. Uh, real quick, hopefully you won't have to ask much about this this season. But uh, just looking overall at the team right now, is this an improved free throw shooting team? We're not talking about those things. I thought. <laughs> is it beyond this? Is it hopefully? No, I mean, in practice, we've been very good. <laughs> There's nobody in the stands, so we'll find out. Yeah, we had been shooting the ball very well, and you saw what happened the other night. But, uh, Stu, as you know, I don't get caught up into those things. I do know this. I sleep well at night knowing we've practiced them all, all summer long. We've done every free throw and trail contest imaginable that we just want to get to the free. Honestly, we want to get there. We have not in our two exhibitions and not even close coming out of our scrimmage, getting to the free throw line enough. Now that we got to get there more. I ain't worried about making or missing. Obviously we want to make them, but I, you know, um, we are not getting to the free throw line near enough for what, how we need to play and our makeup. We got to get there more first. That's, that's what I'm concerned about more right now is getting there.